Hi Aquarius, it's Elle here to do your weekly reading. Thank you for being here with me. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It is much appreciated. All links are below. If you need to get in contact with me, let's go ahead and jump into this Aquarius. Thank you, Lord God, for blessing the Aquarius with a clear, concise message. All right. Aquarius, when I was shuffling off camera and meditating, I just kept hearing, listen, listen, listen. And then, I don't know, this might be telling of my age, but um, that song from the author, author cartoon, I believe, uh, it was like, listen to your heart, listen to the, listen to the rhythm, the rhythm of it. it so, I don't know. Some of you need to listen. You need to get to a place where you're actually listening to yourself because you are just doing constant motion um intuitive awareness by constant motion but you but you're not um you might be hearing but you're not listening you're not gaining awareness mm. uh let's get into it let's see what the week holds for the aquarius what does the week hold for the aquarius what does the week hold for the aquarius what is the week Okay, the Ten of Wands. All right, uh, some karmic cycle may be over. Okay, you have you may have manifested this. Okay, something to be over, to be banished, to be relinquished from you. Okay, and it may be something that you created for yourself. You didn't know. Maybe you were subconsciously, unconsciously creating. This uh, cycle here, but it, it is being released, relinquished. It says something about a relationship with yourself, with another person, I don't know, um, needs to be examined. So something about you and maybe a relationship needs to be examined. Um, something. Uh, so this would be directly related to, this is a 10 reduced down to one to the magician I don't know if you said something or there was something said you could be dealing with a Virgo uh, Gemini if something was said or uh, yeah definitely something was said in terms of the planet Mercury it could have been your affirmation it could have been an intention that you set okay it's all coming together, something coming full circle for you in terms of releasing toxic or a karmic connection here with the Ten of Wands. Or, and it could be something to do with you. Um, there could also be where there is a loved one or individual who is so busy and boggled down with work that they just don't have uh, time for love here. Uh, this is being so bogged down with work. You don't see an end in sight. Uh, there's a lot to do. This is cracking under the weight of your own success. Something about your doing. You, you brought this into existence. Whatever it may be. Um, yeah. Let's see. What's the external influence here for this week for the Aquarius? You could be playing victim, but or someone's trying to play victim. Victimization here. I think you both share in, in being the victim here. Sometimes you're the culprit. Sometimes you're the victim. I don't know. You know, um... This is burdensome. This is something you've been carrying with you. This even could be like needed and talk to someone about, you know, outrage, lashing out, endings, turbulent endings, turmoil in your life. You could be carrying a burden around because you want to talk to somebody, but you won't, or you 
just don't feel like it's the right time or you feel like it's going to cause even more grief. Let's see, what is this about? What's the external influence? The Seven of Cups. Um... Could be wishful thinking here. Fantasy daydreaming. The seven mystery and magic. I don't know. Something about uh, somebody making promises and not, at, you know, making good on them or someone not taking a relationship serious. Therefore, it just caused for a big karmic situation, a blow up, a blowout, someone overindulging, procrastination, making promises and just dragging their feet on it, making it, creating an illusion for you Aquarius or you were doing this for someone else or to someone else and um, it just caused for a blow up, a breakdown. This is a situation where like someone continuously says things that they don't mean and it makes the other person hang on to their every word. This is a situation where someone does things but the other person makes them feel like they're in a certain place or they're in a certain level or they have a certain status in their life, but it really isn't that. This is just altogether games, manipulation of seven deadly sins. This is somebody just in, indulging. They're in the moment. We're in the moment, so I'll say that I love you. We're in the moment, so I'll say that you're my girlfriend or my boyfriend. But it's just in the moment. Making promises or, or saying things that you just don't mean or promises that you know you won't act on. Things that just are not realized here. Creating illusions. Failure to pull the trigger also. Wishful thinking, daydreaming, fantasy. Maybe even creating that for other, for another person. This could be you, Aquarius, or the other person. That's the external um, energy here. You know, that's kind of what's pushing all of this. Um, if this is that, then it was just somebody hung on and, and stayed in there in the connection and then it just turned karmic because um y'all were just doing stuff with no end in sight no agenda no goal no end game you have to know where things are going or you lose interest or you lose motivation if you just keep going to a job for 10 years 10 months I don't know you don't know if there'll be a raise an evaluation a promotion you're going to lose interest you're going to lose motivation you're going to start questioning where's this going you're going to feel like you're just working towards nothing and that's what you did in a love relationship it's so funny how we approach everything else in our life in this calculated, strategic method. But then when it comes to love, we want to get whimsical. We want to get Disney fairy tale. We want to get just, it's supposed to work. It's supposed to happen. No, no, no. You need that same strategy and that same determination and methodical thinking in love. You know, especially if you're trying to get to an end game. If your end game is marriage, then you don't continue to be in something that is not moving towards marriage or has no no room to even move towards that. Like if you're dating a married man or a married woman, you it can't go to to marriage. They're already married. You know, um, this is the karma. The Ten of Wands is the karma that we we create for ourselves the toxic situations we create for ourselves what's the advice for my Aquarius this week 10 minutes the Empress okay very nice 
um, create, create, abundance, lavish, give, open, open heart, communicate, communicate from a place of abundance and love. There are only two real emotions, love and fear. And some of you are coming from fear and scarcity mindset. That's why you stayed in this. Create the life you want. Understand your worth. Understand that something can come into fruition, into the 3D, the real, the real world. You can have what it is you want. Some of you are in the summer of your life. So this would be middle age, like. 30, 30 and up, 30 to 45. This is a time for you to create. You, you can't delay. You can't wait any longer. And if you're not 30, then you're close to it. I'll give it 27 to 45. I just heard you got the whole world in your hands. You got the whole world in here. I know it, it's that, you know, the song says uh, he's got the whole world, but I just heard you got the whole world in your hand. If you want that love, if you want that abundance, if you want that life, if you want those children, if you want that husband, if you want that car, if you want that home, you have to get very determined, okay? The Empress is determined. She's open, she's abundant, she's free, she's giving, she's loving. She's all of those things, yeah. A fool at the bottom of the deck. You're going to have to start over. This doesn't work for you. It's not getting you the outcome you want. The fool card at the bottom of the deck. New beginnings, newness, new direction. Take the leap of faith in a new direction. Uranus, Uranus is going to bring about some different energies. Sleep with some quartz under your pillow. Because in your dream space, especially around the new and full moon, you're going to get a lot of enlightenment with that sun there. About a new journey. Something has to transform within you. Aquarius, let's get you some advice and get out of here. This week, whoa, who's Aquarius? Need to, yeah, need to take the next step now. Can we see that? Focus in. Yep, take the next step now. I knew it. Healing from the past. Um, it could be healing from a mother figure, for your roots. You got to go backwards to go forward. Uh, take the next step now, whatever that looks like. Um, get some rest because you haven't been resting. You've been on go mode and some of you are having a, a, a tremendous amount of success. This is cracking under the own your uh, the weight of your own success. Okay, so it's like, I got so much to do. I'm so tired. I'm so this. But it says get some rest. Not sleep, but rest. Okay, so this is when you are recuperating. You're re rejuvenating, re regenerating, okay? Um, Google rest, how to rest, okay? Um, not sleep. We all sleep. If you have not slept, you're probably dead. Um, but get some rest here. Let's get you some angel answers in here. Healing from the past. Looks like you got to go backwards before you go forward, Aquarius. I don't know what you got to heal. Don't be all down in the comments talking about, I already healed. I don't know that. I don't, I don't know that. Only you and higher source knows that. And maybe this part isn't for you. You know, let, how about that? How about that being an option? It's not for you. Perfect timing. This is the perfect timing to get something done, to embark on something. As we see, take the next step. Wow, at the bottom of the deck, you have a yes with the exclamation point. There are two yes in this deck, but the yes with the exclamation point says yes, 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 a thousand times over. Looks like you can have the life that you want, and we do. 
still clarifying our yes answers at this channel. So let's go ahead and do that. Um, what is this yes answer from my Aquarius? What is this yes answer from my Aquarius? Okay. What is the yes answer from my Okay. I don't know. This one to come out. Okay. The bottom of the deck, King of Cups. Ace of Cups. I'm going to put them back because it kind of just like split. Yes. King of Cups. This is so funny. Okay. So I say, I just heard, yes, he loves me. But it's like a play on, yes, Jesus loves me. So I don't know if you guys are asking a question, does someone love you? Yes, they do. Oh, there's a lot of love for you. And with that Ace of Cups, what is this yes answer? <laughs> this is so funny to them. Four of Cups, yes. Um, okay, we got the last Deacon and Cancer. Uh, the Four of Cups. Uh, yes, there has been self-centeredness. There has been someone uh, focused on their intention, uh, what they wanted in terms of an outcome. They missed the boat or the opportunity with you, or this is how you feel about them. Somebody is discontent, just not pleased. Maybe even with the options that they have. Somebody is not seeing the blessing or the gift before them. What is this blessing or this gift? But there is resentment or remorse, regret here. Regret for how somebody treated you or you them. Yeah, yes, the Ten of Swords now. We got some, some major cycles ending. The Ten of Wands, Ten of Swords. Especially around masculine energy. It looks like you have manifest ending, new beginning. You've used your words um, to bring in ending. Whether you knew it or not. Yes. Somebody is devastated. They felt like it would never get to this point. Somebody is exhausted. Yeah. Or somebody feels exhausted. Exhausted all resources, all energy all time the ten of swords yes somebody wants something with you or you wanted something with them but this relationship had to go through a cycle change an ending maybe a rebirth I don't know you know um, the person that felt like they had the power in this connection is now feeling powerless and devastated feeling I heard under the weather what is that about they could be sick somebody feels there's an inability to cope with the fact that this is over Let me get, I want to read what I have written down. Let me see, see. Okay. Yeah, so there, it, it was definitely a tough time in your relationship. It's a time to, for you to just rest and reflect, Aquarius. Um... With the Ten of Swords. This could have been an abusive relationship, you know, for some of you. It doesn't have to be. Um, something ended around June, in the month of June. 
Somebody just needs to come to terms with the breakup. Somebody is overly dramatic. Once again, playing the victim. Could be a divorce or a separation. There, it could be open enemies. Somebody, yes. Um, maybe four of cups. Uh, again, Mercury, the ego, which would take us back to the magician, which would take us back to one. Um, somebody said something and it ended this connection because somebody got tired of the games, the lies, the manipulation by way. Somebody was manipulating someone's emotions. If I can just keep them confused in their emotions and tied to me, then they'll stay because I don't know how to value such a value person, a valuable person. I don't know how to treat such a valuable person or thing. I've never had anything this great in my life. Therefore, I will um, play with it. I will toy with it. I will be not serious. If I don't take it serious, if it leaves, then it meant nothing to me. But that was just the opposite because somebody's in an energy of where something left their life and they're in utter devastation about it because it was very valuable to them. Person, place, or thing. There's a lot of love, a lot of likeness here. Somebody didn't see the gift and the blessing that this was. It was for them to rise to the occasion and they did not. Aquarius, it's time for you to take the next step now in terms of whatever that looks like. And we have the fool at the bottom of the deck. So this might be in a new direction. Heal from this past connection and maybe even from a deep past it's something to do with family, your upbringing, your roots, siblings, social connections, friend groups, women. Okay. Um, this is a goodbye for somebody. This is severing ties. It's a nail in the coffin. Um, someone, maybe you were overly dramatic. Maybe the other person was. I don't know. Someone is playing the victim now, as we saw here. Somebody is an attention seeker. Maybe. Sometimes this card can talk about illusionists. We saw this. That would be like the magician. We saw that. And that and the magician could sometimes speak of a powerful man that loves control, especially in relationships, romantic ones, business, whatever. Some of you need to stop and deal with your health before there is collapse. There's just ruin here. There's deep wounds. This is a dead end. Someone is seeing that they were either a doormat or the other person is seeing that they made the other person a doormat. Somebody was somebody's little punching bag too. I mean, either literally or figuratively, verbally, you know, verbally abuse, abusive because we do... We do have the two tens here. Ten reduces to one. One goes back to the magician. The magician rules language, words. So somebody could have been verbally abusive. It's just the perfect time for you to move on. Heal from the past. Take the next step. Take the leap of faith, Aquarius. Yes, somebody misses you, but it's time to intellectualize this moving on. Because what more are you going to get from this? The tens talk about completion, the fullness of a thing. If something is full, there's no room for anything, right? There's no, there's no room for good or bad. It's, it's just no room. It's over. It's done. It's full. Heal. Get some rest. Whatever it was. It happened. 
you played a part in it they played a part in it once again someone could feel like you're overly dramatic you feel like the other person is i don't know uh it could be some of you both played a part in that you were overly dramatic at times they were um you were the victim sometimes and sometimes the culprit in the same for the other person who cares at this point you know it needs to be done the will is turning and, it, and it's leading you back to empress status okay abundance Aquarius we're going to go into the extended and talk about um we're going to talk about this five of cups the six of swords in terms of um where is where are you moving to because there's there's the full the five of cups the six of swords great emotional loss somebody feels like something was taken from them someone could feel as if you were taken from them the relationship was taken from them or you could feel that way aquarius There's a lot going on here. Somebody was sexually promiscuous. There could have been baby STD. Um, there could have been uh, someone is just not understanding what's going on. But something is, is trying to move you out of this into healing, rest, restoration. Okay. And we're going to talk about what that what that is okay and where you're going and what you need to do to get there it's 26 minutes okay Aquarius all links are below if you want to get in contact with me uh, you can go to the website book your own reading there you can ask a question or two um, should I leave this person alone should I give them another chance I don't know questions like that you can text to the number below uh, you can also donate to the channel by clicking the buy me a coffee link meet me in the extended where we talk about what this moving on is okay and how we should do that okay thank you aquarius aquarius many blessings to you